What's up, y'all? So today, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I feel one month off of tea. So it's officially been, let me close the, let me go close that shit cause like the glare on like, all right, so I'm gonna be talking about how I feel one one month off of tea. So I've been off tea since the 28th and it's now July 2nd. Yeah, July 2nd, so a little bit over a month. Like, uh, yeah, a little bit over a month. So basically, I'm going to be telling y'all how I feel, what I've been experiencing, and all that stuff. So honestly, getting off tea, I thought I would look completely different than I look right now. Um, I think I said this in a different video. It's really just a mental thing of like having to tell myself that I'm going to be off tea and I don't really want to be off tea. So it's just a trip in my head. But luckily, I look the same. Uh, still out here. So I mean, like muscle wise, I thought I was going to lose muscle or something, but I literally. I look the same. I did lose a little bit of weight, but that's not due to the tea. I'm pretty sure it's due to my like diet. I've been eating way cleaner and doing more cardio, so obviously I'm gonna lose a little bit of weight. Um, but actual muscle mass, nah. Uh, yeah, still the same. I'm, I can still lift the same amount of weight and all that stuff, so I'm not weaker or anything like that. But I do feel more tired, and I think that is just because of like. I hate this term, but like PMSing because as soon as I got off tea, I didn't mention this in my other videos, but as soon as I got off tea, um, you know, my cycle came back. I guess it was just waiting to come back because I haven't had one in like two and a half years. So that came back. Um, so now it's been exactly a month. So obviously, you know, I'm going to be feeling the same way I felt a month ago, meaning that shit. Well, it didn't come back this time, like this in this current moment, it's not back. I just feel like I just have the symptoms. So. Um, I was feeling a little bit tired, um, my stomach hurt a little bit, all that shit, but it's okay, nothing too major, but um, I'm good now. I've noticed like with my cycle or whatever, I hate saying that shit because I don't even have one for real, was, whatever. But with my cycle and shit, like last time, like, a month ago, it didn't even last that long, it wasn't even bad at all, like it's way different than how it was pre-T. Like once I'm, once I'm on T, well, since I've been on T, my cycle is not the same as it as it was before so that's good it's not as bad not as uh, annoying not as yeah none of that shit but next um how what else have i been feeling I'm trying to think i think mainly the things that have changed are just mental um i feel like me still but i'm just a little bit more like softer more chiller not that um like irritable well honestly i'm not cap the first like week to two weeks i was kind of irritable but now i'm used to feeling like this so i'm chilling uh it's not even that bad i really think that the reason that i'm okay doing this process is because i've been on tea for two and a half years so like all the changes i've experienced are not gonna go anywhere i kind of just look like this now i'm not really that reliant on tea i mean obviously if i was off tea for like six months i would look different but it's just a month or two uh being off tea so it's not that big of a deal if anything i'm just staying the same and not progressing any further but uh yeah also some updates so basically that's pretty much it with like how i feel um the hot sweats hot sweats the heat flashes have stopped completely i don't really have them anymore because i think my body got used to like my hormone levels now um I'm trying to think that's pretty much it honestly i'm pretty much the same if i think of anything i'll make sure to put it in the video but um, some updates with the whole process. So I'm doing the egg retrieval process. That's what it's called when they freeze my eggs. So I'm gonna tell you where I'm at with that. So today's Friday, July 2nd, right? I was supposed to go in to start my shots. So let me show you. I'm, I think I showed y'all. No, I didn't. That's a different video. Look at me. Look at me mixing up the videos. But uh, so like, uh, I was supposed to start the shots. These are some of them. This is Gano F. Gano F. This is one of the shots. And then we got Setrotide. So these are just some injections that I was supposed to do. And I keep these in the fridge right here. You're supposed to keep them. You're supposed to keep them refrigerated. So I was supposed to do those, but I did an, um, one T test to check my testosterone levels. Like five days ago and it was at 38 right so my doctor wants me to be below 40 to be able to start the process so i did another t uh, test like two days ago just to double check to make sure my levels are really there and it ended up going up like five to like 42 so or 43 so um 
Yeah, I didn't start today because it's obviously above 40 and my doctor wants us to be below 40, so I'm not doing it today. She wants me to go in again on Wednesday to get another blood test and then uh, see where my levels are at by then. I'm pretty sure by then they'll be below 40, but like, bro, this is like my fourth, this is, the one on Wednesday will be my fourth blood test in like the, like since I've stopped here. So in a month I've done four blood tests. Um, I know every time I have, every time I go into the clinic to actually like, you know, so they're gonna monitor me the whole time I'm doing this. So every time I go into the clinic, um, they want a blood test. Um, they're gonna do an ultrasound. Like it's a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I'll go more into detail with exactly what I'm doing in the video I post later on. After the whole process is over, I'm going to be posting a video like um, showing what exactly I went through and how it was and all that and all that. So stay on the lookout for that. I'll definitely be showing all that. So if you're interested. It's coming soon um it's coming whenever they actually start me so hopefully next friday so a week from today i will take my first shots and then after i take my first shot it's um 10 to 12 days of the shot so after about a week and a half i should be done with the whole process i should already have gotten my eggs retrieved and they're already going to be frozen and all that so you know it's not that bad i'm not really like stressed about it because it'll go by fast you know like literally just 10 days you know just zone out okay not zone out but like you know just cruise through it get it done and then keep it pushing but yeah so that's how i'm feeling y'all i'm honestly feeling really good i'm just excited to do this and then keep my life like pushing you know i i really 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 want kids so the fact that i can have some and this is the way i have to do it i'm down and you know i'm with it so yeah yo, um thank y'all for watching i appreciate y'all I, I don't think i ever really mentioned this but thank you guys for 200 subs like what the fuck? I was looking at my snap video, um, you know how they have the flashbacks or whatever, and a year ago today I posted a video, right? And I had like 79 subscribers, and now I'm at over 200. Like, you know, I'm obviously not famous yet or nothing, but like, that's cr Yeah, but that's absolutely crazy. Thank y'all. So my camera did die, and it's dying. Peace out, y'all. Later.